The Roblox site has hundreds of features, but you've probably used 20% of them. Let me explain. This site has hundreds of obvious buttons and links that send you to where you need to go, but there's also some hidden ones. Buttons in places you wouldn't think to look, and these secret features are some of the most useful things on the site. So today, I'm gonna explain where they are, how to get to them, and what they do. And like the video if you want to spread awareness for these. Now, starting off with the biggest one. You can go to your settings, but there just doesn't seem to be be a way to delete your Roblox account. If you go to other social media like Twitter, there's a button to just deactivate your account right here. But Roblox doesn't have this. Or do they? There's a law called the right to erasure, which basically means if you are unhappy with your account and you want it deleted, Roblox legally has to do it. If you reach out to Roblox, they'll request that every game you've ever visited deletes your data. So your account gets deleted. But this next one is something you probably haven't thought about much. If you click on a Roblox game, you'll probably know notice this button, the follow game button. And if you're like me, clueless, then you have probably never clicked this button once in your entire life. And honestly, you probably don't even know what it does. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you. Basically, when you click this fancy little button, you get notified whenever the game updates. That's it. That is all that this massive button does. Where do you check these notifications, you may ask? By using our next feature, the notification bell in the top right. If you click on it, you probably won't see anything. You'll probably be like me and there will be nothing there. But if you follow a game, there might be some notifications up in there. But this next feature is way more useless. You've probably seen your Roblox message inbox before. I mean, it's important, right? But a tab you've probably never looked at before is news. Because who cares? I literally click it and it says you have no news. I tried researching this and I genuinely cannot find anything. I can find no evidence of this ever doing anything. This is me going through restless nights to try and figure out what the hell this tab does. But I do know what this next feature does. If you've scrolled far down on the site, you probably have noticed this text. And if you're like me, you've probably never clicked on these in your life. <laughs> I mean, who cares about about us? Jobs, blog, parents? I'm not one of those. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not me. But if you click on these, they actually do some helpful stuff. Like you can see the rules. If you want to apply for a job, sure. But this next feature, no one should use. You see the blog? button over here. Yeah, contrary to popular belief, that isn't decoration. You can click it and you can see Roblox's blog. Excellent news. Why should I care? <laughs> no offense, but if you look like this, your opinion does not matter to me. But this next feature doesn't matter to anyone. These are the official store and gift card buttons. If you want to go to the official store, buy a super fly shirt from the merch department. Just kidding. On the official store, there is only gift cards. So that kind of makes the other buttons so only for gift cards, a little worthless. Look, shop gift cards, it quite literally is trying to do the same thing. Except this one's Amazon and this one is Cash Star, something I've never heard until now. <laughs> Regardless, this stuff is just useless. But what isn't useless, if you go to the catalog, have you ever wished that you could find more secret items? Items hidden under the radar that no one else might find? Well, if you scroll down and look at the sorts, you can choose to show unavailable items, which I don't know if anyone has done before. I didn't know it was a thing until I made this video. Because when you click it, it's kind of worthless because no items are off sale. <laughs> but at least you can see more secret items. Like this, for example. Traffic cone sombrero, which I'm guessing was taken down for obvious reasons. And this next hidden feature is also in the catalog. If you look right here, you can search by creator name. I'm just gonna type in my name to prove a point. And look, you can see everything I've ever made. Like meme gaming, official shirt. This shirt just says Bruce Wayne with a Minecraft stone texture in the back. So needless to say, this feature is very useful if you want to see specific creators. But this next feature is not super useful. This is a feature you have probably not used much, though you may have. If you're like me, you've never clicked on a Roblox ad. The average Roblox user is probably too oblivious to realize they're being advertised to. So they're certainly not going to click on fight the memes, regardless of how good it looks. Now this next one is something that the average Roblox Roblox user will never ever use. But before I discuss it, subscribe! I like to ask at the middle of the video because by now you know if you want to subscribe or not, and you are not allowed to subscribe if you're not enjoying the video. Only people enjoying the video are allowed to subscribe. Now, back to the feature. If you click the Create tab at the top of the page, 
there's a little tab right here called developer exchange. You click on that and you get teleported to the dev X area. You know that you can buy Robux for real money, but did you know you could buy real money for Robux at a much lower rate? <laughs> this is how Roblox developers make money. They exchange their Robux for real life cash. As you can see, the current rate is 50,000 Robux for $175 USD. I have no idea how much money I would make if I did this. I have never done it because honestly, I would rather have the Robux. But this next feature might actually be useful to the average person. In fact, it's probably the most useful feature on this list. Imagine this is you, a happy Roblox developer, but you have nowhere to work and use your talents. Now look over here. This is a person who wants to make a game, but doesn't have all the skills necessary. If only there was a way for you two to meet up and link to each other so you could both use your combined skills to make a game. Well, the Roblox site actually has a feature for that called the Talent Hub. If you click on it, you can see so many job listings of people who need people to help with their games. I genuinely had no idea this existed before my video, but I may honestly be using it sometime in the future. You can even see specific rates. Like, look, this guy's gonna pay 2,000 Robux to you. And this guy's gonna pay money sign. Oh yeah, we're rolling in it now. But this next feature is a little less useful. Right beneath the talent hub, you may see the education hub. And if you click on this, you can see a site all about teaching children in school by using Roblox, which in my opinion is really cool. And it'll be really funny when little Timmy in second grade finds a way to bypass the chat filter and scars his whole class for life. But let's get away from the site for a little while. What are some hidden features you can actually find in a Roblox game? Let's say you're walking around Brookhaven and you love somebody's avatar and you'd really like to recreate it for yourself, but you just don't know how to find the items. Well, if you go to the player list and click this very disturbing magnifying glass icon on anybody you like, you can see every single part that makes up their avatar. And if you click on it, you can even buy it while in game, which is pretty crazy. And I didn't really know about it till recently. But a fun fact about this is that if you buy someone's item while in a game, the creator of the game you're in gets 10% of the Robux you spend. This next feature though is kind of worthless. If you want to leave a Roblox game, how do you do it? Well, you press escape, you click the leave button, and then you click leave. If you want to do it a little faster, you press escape, then L, then enter. If you're really in a rush, you just alt F4. <laughs> but what if I told you there's a new, harder way to do it for no reason? See, you could leave by pressing the leave button like a sane person, or you could press this home button in the top left that I didn't realize even existed until now. And it does the same exact thing. But this next one is very, very useful. I know about it, you might know about it, but a lot of new players don't. If you press the tilde key on your keyboard, it opens up your inventory. Yeah, Roblox games have an inventory. You're not limited to what's in your hotbar. If you pick something up and it doesn't go there, that means it's in your inventory. You can also access this an easier way by clicking these three dots in the top right and then clicking on inventory and it opens it up. Which is crazy because I didn't know this for the first like four years of playing Roblox. <laughs> but this next feature is definitely gonna help somebody. If you're like me, you play the game from the site, good old Google Chrome. But whenever you leave the game, it forces you to the desktop app for some reason. So then you have to get out and then right click close window manually or go through the effort of pressing Alt F4 on your keyboard. But a fancy way to leave without all that hubbub is to just hover your mouse at the top of your screen, see the little drop down window that comes up and then click the X and then you're done. That's all you need to do. It's perfect for people like me who will absolutely refuse to cave and download the desktop app. Now this next feature you probably haven't seen because you're not an adult. If you go to your settings right here, there's a tab for parental controls. Obviously, I'm assuming nobody watching this video is a parent, so you've probably never seen these. Right here, you can choose what games they're allowed in, whether you want them to play just Brookhaven or get some Arsenal gaming in there too. But this next feature is not something I recommend activating unless you're a developer who needs it. Everybody's gone to your inventory, right? You can see all the items you have, scroll down, whatever. But at the very, very bottom, there is a video tab. Because in a recent update, Roblox allows you to upload videos to the site just like images. But of course, if you're like me, you probably did not know this. So if you're ever sad because there's no way to watch Shrek the Third on Roblox, now you can. And it is beautiful. This next feature is something we could all probably benefit from knowing about. Do you ever see stupid ads that try and blend in with the Roblox page? I made a whole video about these. They look like this. It tries to blend into your friends list and get you to click it. But those ads break the rules. So if you ever see them, you can press this button, a tiny little report button underneath the ad that you've probably never seen before. And you can just report it and let Roblox know that it's there, which is amazing because the site would definitely benefit
benefit from having less of those. Now, if Roblox isn't your primary source of communication, and you use apps like Discord or just text using your phone, whatever, you probably don't know that the Roblox chat feature is pretty in-depth. You can create a group chat of people. But like I said, if you have any other revenue of communication, it's worthless. I think that all of these features are pretty cool, in all honesty. Having hidden things that are actually pretty helpful is really awesome to discover. I hope that I helped you discover some today. Bye! <laughs>